Hello, Fula. How are you? Hello, Madeline. I am very good. How are you? I'm doing great. Congrats on the film. And I know you're no stranger to animated projects. So first of all, can you tell me how did you become involved in Luck and what interested you about the movie? Yes, well, uh, Skydance approached me about being in this. And uh, so I had very little to do in this way. I, I, I find that if I try to apply to things, normally no one takes me. I once tried to become an employee of In-N-Out Burger. They looked at my face and my inability to walk normal and said, no, you are too goofy. Bye bye. Try another place. So that was very nice. Number two, this is a wonderful message film. I love the idea of luck. There is good, there is bad. Is it good? Is it bad? Depends on how you look at it. Some turtlenecks look terrible. If I ask someone, if I turn around and ask Tina, Tina loves my turtleneck. It's the same with luck. <laughs> and of course, he played Jeff the Unicorn. Can you describe the journey he goes on in this film? Uh, yeah, he has one of those uh, meters. So I think it's about 82,000 steps. Um, oh, you mean metaphorically? Sorry. Yes. So on the journey, uh, Jeff has a very fun journey because we're exploring a little bit of a relationship he had without saying too many things with Babe the Dragon played by, oh yes, Jane Fonda. I said it, I'll say it again, Jane Fonda. It was a very wonderful time. You got to watch the film. Coming now on Apple TV Plus, screaming, screaming, <laughs> streaming everywhere. I guess it's screaming if you turn it up very loud. Yes, very fun to watch. And um, what do you think Jeff's history with bad luck and the consequences he faces says about the society depicted in luck and possibly the real world as well? What, what? Okay, this is a deep question alert. Remember, you're speaking to a man who knows five words and said them all 20 times just now. Uh, <laughs> but to attempt to answer your question, yes. It says that sometimes you have to be careful about what luck is. You should still watch your step like, you know, manholes exist metaphorically and actually on streets, but sometimes it's okay to fall in because then you find something nice like a Swiss army knife, which I did once. Mm. The one with the Phillips screwdriver. So it's very practical. Very interesting. Um, it was great to see Jeff find love again at the end of the film. Right? <laughs> yes. and. Were you satisfied with where the film leaves him or would you have maybe liked a different ending for him? Well, I'm very excited about the ending. I will tell you, I already wrote a sequel. It's called Luck, except there's umlauts. So it's look, and it's like, look who's talking, except this time the only thing talking aren't babies. It's just other unicorns. And we delve into Jeff's world. He's actually like the Bourne identity. He's basically Jason Bourne, but a unicorn. This isn't the sequel. Uh, it, he's basically a unicorn playing Jason Bourne. So he's like Jason Corn. It's very exciting. And at some point we'll do three of those and then Jeremy Renner will take over. That sounds great. I would definitely watch that. <laughs> It's live action also, just because why not? Wow. So what's your favorite thing about Jeff? In what way do you connect with him the most? Thank you for saying wow, by the way. That was very <laughs> Can you say that again? What was my question? Um, what's your favorite thing about Jeff? And in what way do you connect with him the most? Jeff is a, uh, as you call it, a neato freako or, whatever, or whatever they say. He likes to have things not be too dirty. I'm very organized. My mind is a jumbled mess. It's a poorly packed, poorly packed utility closet, uh, but everything else, metaphorically, of course, but everything else is very clean in my house and I can relate to Jeff in this way. He has a nice little dustbin. He likes to make sure everything is in its proper location. Love that. Um, and what would you live in a world without bad luck if you could, if one existed? In a world uh, where no bad luck exists? Well, okay. I would uh, say that we don't know what really is bad luck. Sometimes bad luck turns into delicious luck. Or sometimes it turns into nothing at all. Like, oh no, it's going to rain, but then it doesn't rain and then you're fine. Nobody knows. So I would just say, put me on earth now. I'm happy I'm alive. Feed me three to five times a day. I'm basically like those things in gremlins before they turn into gremlins. Just feed me at the right times and I'm happy. And finally, what do you hope audiences take away from this film in terms of its like central message? Uh, that it's important to have uh, your relationships. It's important to have connections with human beings. Uh, luck, who knows? Luck will come, luck will go, uh, luck will arrive, luck will park and stay for 15 minutes. Nobody knows, but everyone has it. Who knows if it's good or bad? Just focus on your relationships. And that's great. And be grateful. Gratitude. Yeah, that's what I would say. That's a great message. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to chat today, Flula. Um, I wish you the best going forward and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day.